Okay friends, you asked for it. Today we are going to be talking about Microsoft Shifts and how to create a schedule. So let's get into it. Okay, so before you create a schedule, something that's interesting is a schedule is going to be connected to a team. So you have to make sure that you've created a team inside Microsoft Teams before you can create this shifts schedule. Now, if you guys are watching this video and you don't know what shifts is, make sure to check out this video above before watching the rest of this video because I'm going to assume you already know what shifts is. Um, before I teach you how to create um, this shifts um, schedule. Now, before going into the rest of this video, please make sure to go on to your Teams side of Microsoft Teams and create a team for um, your group of people that you would like to be added to this schedule. Now, um, many people have asked and commented about this specific question. They have asked, how do you add multiple teams inside of one schedule? I haven't figured out a way to do this. The only way around it is if you create just a whole nother team itself and call it, you know, shift schedule and then add everybody from all the other teams onto that one team. I know that might not be the best thing for everybody to do, but that's the way around it for now. And then if you don't want to do that, you would have to create a separate schedule for each team. Now you can keep that in the back of your mind when you're creating your Microsoft Teams, and this is why I'm saying this first, when you're creating your Microsoft Teams, you can you know, group them in such a way that you would want those people on separate schedules inside of shifts so that you don't fall into that issue later on when creating the schedules. So make sure that you have created your team inside Microsoft Teams and make sure that the permissions are right. So what do I mean by that? Well, let me show you on my screen. Okay, so inside this team called Client Meetings and QBRs, you can, once you've created that team, click on these three dots and manage the team. Inside this, you'll see the members tab, which you can add your members to and change their um, ownership or their role of the team. This is going to completely replicate what it looks like inside the shifts schedule. So, if you want somebody to be able to edit, accept things, change things, create schedules inside of shifts, they will need to have an owner role of this team. So make sure you have that correct before you create the um, schedule, but you can change it. It does um, mimic um, as you change it inside of the team itself. So if you give somebody you know, less access or more access, it will change what their shifts looks like um, depending on what you give them. So make sure you add the people you wanna add here and you change their roles to mimic what you want them to see inside of shifts. Now let's go over to shifts so I can show you how to create um, a schedule. Okay, so once you have downloaded the app, now if you haven't downloaded the app, you just easily click on this app section of Teams, search for shifts, download it, make sure it's on your bar and you're good to go. Once you have that, you're going to have this little um, hamburger icon at the top here. When you click on that at the bottom here, it's gonna say new schedule. When you click that, it's going to give you the option um, of which team you can create a shift schedule for. Now notice that some of mine are grayed out, but then there's one that is colored in. That is because I am an owner of that team, so I have the availability and access to create a shift schedule. So 
If you're not an owner of the team, you can't create a schedule to begin with. So I'm gonna use YouTube training as the training for us today. I'm gonna to click create. You then you would then select a um, time zone, so closest city or whatnot, um, and then you click confirm. So I'm going to confirm this and it's going to create my team schedule. Now, it is going to automatically just put me in as an unnamed group participant. But what you're gonna wanna do is assign uh, groups. These are sectioning your team members into their different areas. So, you know, let's say you were using this for your whole um, company and you had the sales team, marketing team, um, media team, social media team, you know, whatever you wanted to section it out to, accounting, that kind of thing. You would section and make those groups. How you change this title here is you click the three dots next to it and click rename group. So I'm going to say marketing. Now, something that's really cool before I save this, I want you to see this message that is super important. The name can be used in a mentions and chat. So choose a name that's useful and easy to recognize. Okay, so if you've watched this video above talking about um, Teams channels, you have seen that you can create tags where basically you can mention a group of people just by clicking an at, the at sign and then typing in whatever category you have for them. So like for example, for us, we have our engineers all at one tag. So if you say at engineers in the chat, it will notify all of the engineers in that group. This is what it's going to do for this group. The group is going to be, if you, if you mention marketing, so you go at marketing in this team, in this uh, Microsoft team, you can then mention and notify all of the people in that scheduled group, which is pretty cool because it also knows um, who is on the shift so it will notify people who are on shift so it's like changing um, and if you add somebody to that group it will add them to the tag so it basically changes as you change it inside shifts so this is really freaking cool and super helpful so an easy way to categorize people and um, you can mention them super quick and easy and it gets everybody that you want to be notified so I say all that to say, make sure to title your groups something that makes sense. So I'm gonna save this. And then now you can see it replicates here. And then what you're going to do is if you want to add a new group, you can click up here to the top right, click add group, and then click the rename button again. And let's say we wanted this to be called sales, save, and then I want it to reorder to where sales is higher than marketing and I save. Now you can see that the um, order is different. Now you can go ahead and add your people. So you would click on the group that you wanna add that person to. Then you would type the person's name. So let's say I wanna do Bobby here and I'm gonna click add. Now he's already a part of another schedule, so it's not gonna let me do that for him, but when you do it, it would add them to this schedule here, um, and they would be good to go. When you're creating a Teams schedule, this screen is kind of like a template for you to create um, the schedule on and then you have to send it to your team so it doesn't automatically as you're editing it here send it directly to the team so here's what I mean so let's say I wanted to create a schedule for me on the 20th I would click on that box click the three dots add a shift and um, it automatically saves ours default from 8 to 5 so I'm gonna save that, make sure that all of this is correct. 
Um, and then I'm going to actually add a 30 minute break here, which is what we do. Um, and then I am going to save it. Notice how that little coffee cup comes up too. That means that there's a break somewhere in the schedule as well. Um, so I'm going to save it here. Notice I didn't click share though, because I'm not ready to share it. Something that's also cool is an easy way to create a schedule. So if you're somebody like, um, like us, uh, in a, in your company where we are 8 30 to 5 30, um, every Monday to Friday. So it's the same kind of day, um, each day you can easily just right click here on that shift and copy it and you can paste it, um, into another day and it saves the exact sort of, um, the exact setup of your previous shift, which is pretty cool. Then you can also drag over multiple shifts, copy those two at the same time, go to next week's and paste it here. And it does it like in a whole line. So if you were doing like a whole month at one time, it's a really easy way to just boom, 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 get it done fast. Now there are some of you guys who might be looking at this, who are using it and are making like open um, shifts. So like somebody's not assigned to that shift yet, they have to grab it and it looks different each day. So you would have to, you know, do basically your manual um, shift each time for something like that. But if you have a um, nine to five kind of workspace, this is an easy way to uh, create your shift schedule very quickly. Notice how in these shifts, it has this little star next to them. Um, that is meaning that the shift has not been sent to the person. So instead of um, seeing this as something that Kaylee can see, right now you're just seeing the potential of what she's going to see until you click share with team. Once you click share with team, it gives you the option of which weeks you'd like to share out the schedule. So I created ones from the 20th to the 25th. So I'm going to click on 20th, go to 25th. And that's what I want to send Kaylee, right? So it'll let you know that there are four assigned shifts in that time frame because there's none on Saturday and Sunday. Then you can say if you want the notification to go to only the affected people or your entire team. I'm going to say just the affected people and then click share. When I do that, notice how the stars um, go away. And now it is the regular shift um, is the regular looking shift. So this means that Kaylee now sees these shifts and uh, she can clock in. So this is just a quick and easy tutorial on how to create um, a shift schedule. But um, I'm going to create another video, which I'll link above once it's done on how to clock in and clock out of shifts, as well as how to request time off and change those settings. So make sure to tune in for the next video if you're interested in more content on Microsoft Shifts. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys.